Hey guys, how are you doing? And in this episode, we are going to see how to fix iPhone photos shot using the default camera app being too dark or sometimes the photos may look like a painting instead of a regular normal picture with more details and a sharper image that we normally get used to while shooting the iPhone camera. So here you can see in the sample picture, the face, the color tone and everything looks over saturated and it is definitely not looking natural. In this group photo, even though the lighting conditions are good with little exposure adjustment, you can see the image looks very dark and here it is kind of, you know, when we adjust the exposure to get a clear picture, it looks kind of a painting. Recently, one of my audience experiencing this problem and I remember seeing similar questions in Reddit and other forums as well. So I was trying to figure out what was causing the problem where the images, the face and the color tone, everything is kind of oversaturated, even though he is not adjusting the exposure level. And the very important thing is this problem could happen in iPhone SE third generation, iPhone 13 and above models where Apple introduced this photographic styles feature. By default, it should be set to standard, but when you set up your iPhone for the first time and when you open the camera app, it asks for the photographic styles option in this camera app section. If you have selected any other option other than the standard, for example, if you set it to rich contrast or any other option in this slide, then obviously you will see a complete different result while shooting a picture using your default camera app. Either it is a front camera or rear camera, the results are not going to look natural. These features are definitely useful when you know what you're doing. Like if you are taking a close-up shot, an outdoor shot, then the picture may look perfect. But with the different studio lighting conditions, the pictures taken using the camera app with this photographic styles configured will definitely look miserable. And here I have taken a couple of uh, sample shots using the rich contrast. You can see the red color is kind of popping up in the image. The overall image looks sharper. The white and black, everything looks sharper. This is a close-up shot image. And the right side, you can see the standard shot image, the photographic styles is set to standard and it looks kind of dull while compared to this rich contrast image. So this is what you have to do while shooting a picture, try to set it to standard. And here in the second sample shot, you can see the background, the red color, black color, everything looks kind of sharper and vivid. And in the right side, you can see this is the picture normally taken using the standard mode. I can, of course, do the edit after shooting a picture. So if I don't want the photographic styles to stay in the effect all the time for any longer shots or group photos, especially with the different lighting conditions, then it is must to turn it off. Normally, when we take a picture using the iPhone camera app, when we tap on a subject and try to, you know, swipe up and down, we can adjust the exposure level of the picture, how much light the lens should receive, you know, we can control it through the software. It is very useful to take some stunning pictures, but with the photographic styles on, you know, this sort of manual adjustment will definitely produce very horrible results. And here you can see from the photos app, once the picture is shot, you can edit the shadows, contrast, vibrance, brilliance, saturation, everything, you know, through the built-in editor. You can play with it and see how amazing photos can be edited and enhance to, to look much better than the default picture that you shot using the camera app. If you're using any other iPhone model, the similar to dark or the photos you shot looks like painting, then it is recommended to visit Apple Service Center. They will run hardware level diagnosis to check whether any camera lens related problem is there or it is an iOS software related problem. For any iPhone related questions, don't forget to search our channel. And for more useful tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you and have a wonderful day.